Hi, I'm Megan Captine, and this is my Honda CB500X. This is the 2013 model. It's Honda's original version. I got this bike last summer at around 4,000 kilometers and it's now at 15,000 kilometers. So I've had my share of adventures over the last year. Of those 11,000 kilometers of riding I've done, I have ridden a variety of trains and conditions. A real mix of highway touring, mountain twisties, and a lot of commuting in slow speed city traffic, as well as the occasional unpaved forest service road. I love this bike. It's really comfortable, it's easy to ride, it's versatile, it's a reliable machine that's just giving me no real headaches. This bike is a middleweight at 430 pounds. It's got a 471cc parallel twin engine and 47 horsepower. It's got 17 inch tubeless tires front and back with single disc brakes and ABS. I am 5 foot 10 inches with a 34 inch inseam and I think this bike is the ideal fit and size for me. It's comfortable and it doesn't feel cramped even after long days in the saddle and I've done quite a few of them, sometimes up to 700 kilometers in a day, and no real complaints. It's worth noting that I also ride a 2005 Ducati Monster S2R, and this Honda, without a doubt, dominates in the comfort category, with its upright and roomy riding position and pretty comfortable seat. It's got a medium seat height, so even for shorter riders, this could be a great bike. Riding two up, I think it's also a very comfortable machine. I recently took my friend on a day trip and we didn't find it cramped at all. We both had a blast. I love that this bike is comfortable yet light enough that it feels maneuverable and manageable. The other bike I was considering purchasing was the Suzuki V-Strom 650. No doubt a great option as well. Ultimately, I found a deal on this bike, so the price point was really the kicker. It comes in at just under 7,000 US brand new and the insurance and fuel economy are both excellent on this vehicle. The fuel tank is 17 liters, which is the minimum I'd want for touring. And with this tank, I can get 400 kilometers. The majority of riding I do is in my backyard of British Columbia here in Canada. And there are occasionally some remote parts. It's just nice to have the peace of mind to know that I'll make it to the next station. The bike also has a handy fuel indicator, which I find very helpful, although I do push it to its limits more often than I should. The 2013 Honda CB500X does not have a gear indicator, but the 2019 model does have this feature and a number of other excellent updates that I'll get into in just a bit. The engine is certainly not the most thrilling or powerful, but it is smooth and reliable. You can feel the vibrations at higher revs, but it feels capable enough, and once you find that sweet spot, it will cruise smoothly at higher speeds. The reality is that I am commuting in the city more often than I am touring, and I like that it's not painful to ride this bike at low speeds with its smooth and light clutch. As for maintenance, it is low. I've had no major repairs or breakdowns. With a center stand, it's easy enough to do the basic stuff yourself. Before my last big trip, I took it into the shop to replace the tires and I had it fully inspected. No major issues to note. I've dropped this bike already, twice, and that's okay. It's not a showroom bike. It's meant to be used and taken on adventures. And it's a great bike to practice skills and to push it without having to worry about insanely costly repairs. No, it is not the most sexy bike in sound or appearance. You're not gonna be turning heads because of its looks, but it is a great conversation starter. It's not a popular bike where I live and most people don't really know what bike this is and what category it fits into. So it's a great way to start chatting with people. 
If you're considering this bike, I think you have to ask yourself, what will you be doing with your motorcycle? If you are just a Sunday cruiser, or you are going to the track regularly, or doing serious off-roading, you'll have very different considerations than me. I live in the city, and I don't have a car, so I use my bike year-round for all types of scenarios. I take my bike grocery shopping, I go to parties and meet up with friends, I go touring, I take it hiking, and of course, camping. And this bike is truly a do-it-all machine that is versatile for all these purposes, especially with some modifications. On that note, I have the aftermarket horn that is extra loud and I am not afraid to use it. Side note though, I do not like the horn button on this bike. I find myself hitting it by accident on a fairly frequent basis. I have the engine guard, which has come into use as I've mentioned. And I've got the aftermarket LED Denali lights, which are really bright. And of course, I've got the mounting system for luggage, which is a game changer for day-to-day -day commuting and touring. I have very limited off-roading experience, but I have taken this bike with its stock tires and suspension on several dirt roads and inadvertently took it on a pretty gnarly deserted old forest road thanks to Google Maps. I made it to the campsite. Definitely, definitely went the wrong way. The bike and I made it out without any major damage, but I will say that it did not feel like the stock tires and suspension were a great choice for off-roading and I would upgrade it with Rally Raid kit if I was gonna do more riding like that. The 2019 model has some notable updates. The engine has been tweaked to get a 4% torque increase. It's got increased suspension travel and an additional three degree of lock-to-lock -lock steering capability for a tighter turning radius. But the big upgrade is the new 19 inch front wheel. I haven't actually ridden the new model yet, but I am a loyal fan of the original bike and I think these are some solid upgrades. Overall, the CB500X is a great motorcycle. It's comfortable, it's reliable, it's economical, and it's just a very solid machine that I've had nothing but great times on. I'm happy to hear your questions and comments about this motorcycle. Let me know if you have anything that you'd like to know about my experience with this bike. I really thank you for taking the time to watch. I hope you subscribe so that I can share my future adventures with you. See you next time.